in our previous session we have displayed the static table and also we have displayed all the buttons now in this section what we are going to do we are going to display the data from the cart as soon as i click on this cart whatever data i am having inside the table that data has to be displayed here so from where we are going to collect the data from cart we are going to fetch that data i will come up below this table i will be creating php i will be closing php inside this i will be writing query select cart data or select cart products select cart products is equal to my sql i query and inside this i'm going to write connection variable and here i will write select star from cart and cart i'm just going to wrap in backticks okay we have seen multiple times how to write query how to execute query as well as if we want to fetch multiple products then how to use while loop we have seen multiple times in this project now i'm just going to write if my sql line num rows and inside this i'm just going to write the product why we are using this my sql line num rows if we are having products greater than 0 that means we have some products inside the table if we are having less than 0 that means no products are there inside the cart i will write here if below this i am going to write else as of now let me just write here echo no products now inside this if first what i have to display i have to display this table head and in our previous sections we have seen why we are displaying this table head because if we display outside the if then for each products we will be having table head so to resolve that we are just going to cut this from here i will copy this entire thing cut it from here and inside if i am just going to paste because if my products are greater than 0 only then i have to display this table head that to only one time i have to display i am not going to wrap this inside while loop or else for every product i will be having this below this i am going to write while and inside this as i mentioned we are having multiple products in cart table so we are going to wrap inside while loop i will just write here fetch cart products fetch cart products this will be equal to my sql i fetch as so and inside this we are just going to pass our query variable i will come here we have written this query i will copy this and inside this i'm just going to paste i will just open my while as soon as i open while i'm just going to close this while i will come down and this is the part of php now we have started our php here and we have closed the php here so to include this inside php again we are just going to start our php now inside this while loop i'm just going to wrap this table row i will just copy this table row cut it from here and inside this i'm just going to paste save this this table body and table this table body and table tag will be below we are not going to copy paste below this table row i will come to my project i will refresh this now you can see two times i am having this row which means our query is successful and in my cart table i am having two products so that is the reason 
two rows are displayed. I will come to view products. Now, whatever data I'm having, I have laptop, I have earpods. I will come here. I will add headphone. As soon as I added headphone, cart number is increased. When I click on this, now three rows will be added. So, how many data I am having inside the cart, that many rows will be added. Again, I will come. So, what we have done, we have just written select query to select all the products from the cart. And here we are checking if it is greater than zero, only then I have to display this one. Now, if I just write this table head below this table, not inside this query, then even after deleting all the products, this table header will be displayed. So, we are just checking if it is greater than zero, only then we are displaying table head once. Then inside this while loop, we are fetching the data. As soon as I open while loop, I am closing this. And inside this, I am just going to paste all the table row. Then finally, we are closing this PHP. This is our while loop. This is our if and this is our else part. Then we have this table body and table tags. So this is the simple process. This is the simple query we have written. Next session, what we are going to do, we are going to display all the products. Whatever products we are having inside the cart, that products we are going to display it here.